Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today, we have the Spartan Blades Talos. This is part of their new field grade line, which means uh, they are less expensive. This one, uh, quite a bit less expensive than your average Spartan. This is 115 bucks. Normally, Spartans are 400 and up or three mid threes and up anyway. So uh, very, very cool to see a folder from them at this price. The design is a Bill Harsey design. It's quite similar to the Harsey folder that they've made for several years in its overall look. I will compare it to the Harsey 3.25, the newest version of that higher end one uh, here in just a moment. But a pretty cool looking design if you like that design. Uh, I do, uh, I have two of them, I have both sizes, so um, I obviously like it. Uh, these are made in Taiwan, which is uh, quite a large departure from Spartan. They've been very proudly USA made, but you know, these guys are about as patriotic as it comes. Taiwan is not China. Don't put that down in the comments below. A lot of people may say it's the same thing. It's not. Coming from the bicycle industry, yeah, it's a totally different world, Taiwan to China. I'm sure it's a good place they're working with. Uh, but to hit that price point, eh, they just kind of had to. But you are getting a lot of bang for your buck. Not only is it a Spartan, XHP steel, which is pretty rare nowadays in knives it used to be all over the place and now it's cool to see it back again on a regular production knife um i know that uh some places still use it but it's still it's a lot more rare than it used to be uh g10 handles nice deep carry pocket clip and uh which is also something you don't see on a regular spartan at all so it's kind of cool to see that and just it's a timeless looking design didn't screw the shape too much at all uh, I think it looks really good. The G10 is pretty grippy, but not overly so. It's not a, like a pocket destroyer or anything like that, uh, but definitely grippy enough for a knife this size. And speaking of the size, they got the size just about right on this. We'll talk about when we get to ergonomics more, but you can still fit all four fingers on it, uh, but it's still a nice, small, compact knife in the pocket. So let's do some specs and some size comparisons before we get too much farther. You have a blade length of 3.12 inches, overall length of 7 inches, Blade thickness of 0.127 inches, handle thickness of 0.42 inches, and a weight, according to my scales, of 2.32 ounces, so uh, not too shabby at all. Size comparisons, we'll bring out our current usual <laughs> spider coes. I'm still between PM2s. Uh, so we have the Manix 2 in lightweight form and the Para 3. As you can see, this is a, a bit on the smaller size for sure. Now, Benchmades, I'm not going to use my usual usuals. I'm going to change it up a little bit. We're going to do the uh, full-size bug out and the mini bug out because I think that is more applicable here. We have your mini bug out. This was the white one that I dyed red. If you're wondering about the color on it, it's not that European exclusive one. I just dyed it red. And here's your full-size bug out. So you can see just a little bit big, kind of like halfway between them, honestly, pretty much halfway between. And then lastly, we've got a couple more because uh, it's it's going to come up later because <laughs> uh, we're going to bring out the Ontario Wrap Model 2. And the Wrap Model 1. So you can see it's a much more, much more, uh, model to your size than it is model one maybe a little bit smaller than that than the R the beloved r2d2 and then lastly of course we have to compare it to uh some of its its brethren here we have this is the harsey folder 3.2 uh, 3.25 that just came out you can see it's just a just a smidge smaller than that but very very close and then another member of this field grade group now that I've not done the full review on yet. This is the Aster, Les George design, which is obviously a much beefier, uh, bulkier, workhorsey kind of knife. All right, let's talk more about this knife specifically. The blade, yeah, again, XHP, love that. Very, very happy to see it. Um, a sharpening choil, which again, you don't, you don't see that much or at all on the higher end Spartans. So it's nice to see a really good sharpening choil in there. Um, really, it's, it's gonna be so much easier to sharpen. I very much appreciate that. Uh, pretty thin blade stock, as I said, pretty simple drop point blade shape. Is pretty thick behind the edge, uh, 26 thousandths behind the edge. A couple years ago, that would have been kind of average. 
it's not anymore. Most places are going a lot thinner. Kind of unsurprising for a Spartan. that They've always had it a little bit thick behind the edge. Did come pretty sharp out of the box, though, so no complaints there. Um, NSX HP, which usually sharpens up pretty well. Uh, one of the main things I like about it. Great edge retention and still pretty easy to sharpen, so don't mind that a bit. Uh, as far as the ergonomics go, again, yeah, all four fingers on it with no problems whatsoever. And this deep carry pocket clip works. On some knives this size, it doesn't work. Uh, it's you get a, It pushes right in the palm of your hand, at least for my hands. This one, they angled it properly and it fits in my hand extremely well. And the G10 again, I think they really, really nailed it with the ratio of grippy to slippery. And it's not gonna be a pocket destroyer, but it still grips in your hand really well. This jimping up here is pretty good. I, I rarely say this about Spartans because it's usually pretty aggressive. I wouldn't mind if it was a bit more aggressive on the on the jimping, which I never say that. That's usually one complaint I always have about Spartans. They're, they're, they're too aggressive. This one, they could have gone just a little bit more. Maybe they listened to me. Probably not. <laughs> but they may have overly listened to me. But yeah, not too bad. How does it carry? Um, extremely well. No flipper tap. So it, it had nothing sticking out in your pocket. It'd be a pocket peck or anything. Good ramp on the pocket clip. Again, that G10's not, not too grippy. It's very lightweight. Super easy to get your hand past. It's a joy to carry it, honestly. It's, it's a very nice knife to carry, absolutely for sure. Now, as far as the action goes, so they use what they call the oil-infused bronze bushing system. Um, basically, you have a bronze washer and a Teflon washer. A lot of people have lost their, their tiny little minds over that. Um, a lot of knives do that. That's not that uncommon. Yes, it does hide all manner of, of uh, you know, tolerance and consistencies and all that stuff. I know that's why some people roll their eyes about it, but the Rat Model 2, granted, much less expensive knife, but it runs on that, and it's always been great. People don't complain about it. So, um, you know, it's known for its really good action, so it, it doesn't really bother me that it has that on it, long story short. Um, I'm, I am not at all bothered by it. The action on it is a pretty typical Spartan. It's uh, not, not super drop shutty. I mean, you can if you really give it a wrist flick, but not meant to be. That's kind of not their jam but it's very smooth for sure. Absolutely very smooth. And if you are an experienced Spartan person, Spartaneer, Spartanarista, I don't know what to call it, you can front flick this thing. If I can, it's not easy. There we go. Takes a few tries. I can do it a lot better on my full size Harsey. My smaller one, it's a little more difficult as well, but you can front flick them. Just it's probably not the easiest way to open it. Probably not the most recommended, but it's there and it's kind of cool. I believe you just using the thumb stud d10 is excellent lockup is excellent from this liner lock design uh the action is fine for what it is so what are my conclusions i really like it and this one has been perfect i'm not going to ignore the fact that a, another reviewer and i've heard some other anecdotal evidence of people having some quality control issues but spartan took care of it right away i know they exchanged knives for a couple people and this this is first run from a manufacturer they've never dealt with before. So teething problems are to be expected. It's Spartan. They're an amazing company. I'm sure on the odd chance you do have an issue, uh, they're going to take care of it. So setting all that aside, 115 bucks for that Spartan name. Small, you know, just a couple guys run the company and they're awesome. They have other employees too, but you know, it's just the two guys run the company and they're great people. I've loved dealing with them this past year or so since I've gotten into Spartans. And this is a really, really nice knife. I really do like it. Now, I own the 3.25, so it, am I going to keep this one? I don't know. This one is so light that I might. I don't know. And I might make a rhyme. Something about a dime. I don't know. I'm not going to rhyme. But I, I do really like this, and I think it's a great addition, especially with the XHP steel. That's kind of what really pushes me over the edge with this being... This being pretty good to calling it great because I love XHP and it's just so cool to see it back on a knife that I know there's going to be a bunch, bunch of them out there. So these are available on the website right now. They did not sell out yet. Maybe they did and came back. I don't know. But I'll link down below to Spartan Blades website. You can go and pick one up if you want to. It comes in this black or in a green G10, both the same price. So uh, go check you one out. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.